Right now is the Satori Fund founder, Dan Niles. Dan, it's great to have you this weekend. Thanks for being here. My pleasure, Maria. What is your take on the Federal Reserve's action so far and whether they'll raise rates in the upcoming week? So I think the Fed's in a tough spot because they've got two things they have to do. The first one is they're the lender of last resort. And they stepped up to the plate, and that's great. And so that's helping on the banking side. But the other side is that they've got to control inflation and deal with employment. And so inflation is still strong, and you're going to see that probably start to accelerate on the commodity side because China exited zero COVID. They've dealt with their big COVID surge in January. And so as you see that turn on, commodity prices, which have been you know, going down for a while now, there you're probably going to see, start to see that pick up again. And so that's the issue. And then the banking stuff, that's not going to go away. We've been worried about the banking system. We were more looking at private equity late last year because you've got $620 billion in unrealized losses sitting at the U.S. banks. That's against a capital base of just $2.2 trillion. In Europe, you've got $200 billion in unrealized losses. And this is being driven by this high inflation. So I think you're going to see this banking issue be around for a while as long as there's high inflation. And with China opening up, I don't see that going away. So what do you want to do as an investor here, Dan? You've been making money throughout all of this, but how do you want to allocate capital for the rest of the year in an economy that most people are expecting to slow down, possibly enter recession in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, you had me on your show in early January, and I said one of the best ideas I had at the time was going to three-month Treasury bills. Um, you're getting a guaranteed return of over 4%. Um, it's a great place to be because of a lot of the things we have going on. Our target on the S&P uh, 500 is still 3,000, and we think you're going to get there at the back half of the year. That's st down almost 20% from current levels because you've got multiples for the market that are still high, and you've got earnings, which especially after the bank crisis we just had, are going to head lower. And you're probably going to get some taste of that when companies start to report Q1 earnings, because don't forget, the banking sector is a big spender, especially in technology. They're 15 percent of the $4.4 trillion spent every year. So I think investors should you know, take advantage of the rally we just got this last week. Um, you know, we expected that. We put a tweet out on that on March 10th. Um, but, you know, this crisis is far from over, and I think you're going to see other banks come out over the course of the rest of this year talking about how they're going to have to shore up that capital base as well, because $620 billion in unrealized losses, that's a big number. And so, obviously, there's some other pockets you're going to have to get through of stress. Yeah, I want to ask you about those pockets of stress, Dan, because when you look at what happened to Silicon Valley Bank, their deposit structure was venture capital firms, tech companies. This was the negative. We know that there's a lot of layoffs going on within tech. Then when you look at Signature Bank, the fall there was largely due to commercial real estate. And, you know, these are two areas that are vulnerable, commercial real estate, technology. What are the other potential blow-ups? Where are you looking for potential worry signs? And how do you want to avoid them? Well, it, the problem is you, it's hard to avoid them when inflation is really the issue. It's the other yeah. things you mentioned that we're, we're negative on, right? If you go back to some of the uh, discussions you and I had late last year, we were worried about private equity um, because they've got a lot of money in commercial real estate. You've had more redemptions in their ability to, to meet in some cases. And But the core issue here is that you've had 13 years of easy money. That led to the highest inflation in 40 years. And so all these banks over the last 13 years are sitting on a lot of treasuries. And as rates, inflation went up, rates went up, central banks got more aggressive, they were dealing with massive losses. That issue isn't passed. And that's an issue affecting all banks. I mean, think about Credit Suisse, right? It's an issue that you're having to deal with. And so unless inflation really falls off, and our concern is it starts to pick back up on the commodity side, which has been a tailwind now for a little bit, um, with China being the biggest buyer in the world of a lot of different commodities, the second biggest buyer of oil, that's one of the things we uh, talked about in a tweet on Thursday. We ended up switching out of some of our tech stuff like Facebook or Meta into things like commodities, energy, aluminum, copper, that kind of uh, those kind of names, as, as well as buying some sports betting companies, where you know this tougher lending environment and capital markets 
is really going to cause a problem to all the competitors of the two biggest, FanDuel and DraftKings. And so, but don't forget the overarching theme here is S&P 3000. That's a lot lower than where we are today. And, you know, Treasury bills, three-month T-bills look pretty appealing in that kind of environment. Mm. So the reopening of China reignites gains for commodities, reigniting inflation, is what you're saying by, by year-end, Dan? Absolutely. And then the second part of that is the U.S. consumer is sitting on $1.5 trillion in excess savings from all the stimulus checks that went out. But they're burning through that because of this high inflation. They're going to be out of money by the back half of this year going into the holiday season. That's the second shoe that can potentially drop. Thanks to Dan Niles. Great to see you.